I spy with my little eye a spider monkey. One of the most playful monkeys in the world. Exploring Student Potential, ESP, is edu an educational opportunity for the high achiever. Um, high achievers have special needs because of their talents and abilities. And Broad Alban Perth has developed this class which will pr provide them with a flexible learning environment and um, so a place where I can differentiate activities. They can use their higher um, level thinking skills. They can use logic. They can use creative thinking. And also they can, um, they're developing their social skills because sometimes they work independently and sometimes they'll work in a group or a team to solve problems. Because we're near the equator, uh, an imaginary line that splits the earth in two. For K through two, I chose the rainforest because it encompasses so many different areas of academics. Um, it covers math with the symmetrical butterflies and the thousands of butterflies. We read books, so it covers ELA. We have our uh, created artistic work, so the, um, it encompasses art and music and science, of course, and, and they develop an appreciation for um, the habitats that we have in our world. What's the hole in the middle? The pupil. The pupil. What does a pupil do? It adds and subtracts light. We just finished in a unit on optical engineers where they learned about the workings of the eye, which was they found very interesting and they really enjoyed that. We learned about the retina and how the, the images on the retina are upside down. So we made tubes that would allow the light in and show the images of the ret of what was seen on the retina upside down. I get to be challenged and some things are too simple for me and here I get to really learn what I want to be learning. Um, we get to do challenges and learn about engineering and I like learning about engineering because my dad is an engineer. I like because it challenges me and I don't and I get to come into a different room and learn stuff learn about engineering that I kind of want to be when I grow up. Pat, go over Make sure it gets in that thing. The egg obstacle course was a spontaneous problem. They had to um, decide which item they were going to use to move the egg through the obstacles and um, they had to work as a team and come up with a solution to the problem. They decided on what they were going to use and once they got into moving the egg around the obstacle course they had things happen that they didn't expect to happen so they had to fix it. Um, I like the creativity of ESP. We get to do what we want and we get to share all our ideas and let them flow free sort of. I think it's really fun because you kind of get to express yourself like when you do the problems, you get to think outside the box. Well, sometimes we do like spontaneous problems, like we have to solve an idea that Mrs. Funke gives us, and then we um, have to like do worksheets or stuff about it. Guys, we put it like this, and then it supports the paper. Building the bridge, um, I would consider as a engineering challenge because we did do the bridge unit, and they were using the information that they got from that unit. Um, to create that bridge and think about the forces that would be placed on it because we were putting the penny weights on it, thinking about the forces that would, that would pull it down. And um, they again had to work as a team. They had to accept everybody else's ideas and put them together to form their solution. And I think they were really successful. I would love to see this program across the board for every kid in the, in the district. That's probably not going to happen, but every child could benefit from what ESP has to offer. The children that I'm working with are the future doctors, lawyers, engineers, scientists, researchers, hopefully teachers of our next generation. And if we can, um, if they can learn how to brainstorm, if they can learn how to listen to other people's ideas and generate new ideas from them, if they can solve problems or use higher level thinking skills, and we, we develop those skills all the way across the board, when they graduate from school and they go out into the real world, 
then those skills will prove to be invaluable to them.